Hey everybody, it's Thursday night and I uh, got off work a little early tonight and I want to wrap up monogamous, monogamous March. Uh, for those who haven't been following along, I picked the month of March to focus on one soap, one scent only, and just to see how that experience went. And that soap was Soap Commander Respect. If you want to go back to a couple videos ago, you'll see how full that tub was to do a side-by-side. -side. Maybe I'll do a screenshot and uh, post that later, and, or screen grab, and then do a picture of this one. But as you can see, this is the tub now. Um, you see that little indentation there? Those two indentations were me measuring roughly how much was left. What I can say is there's about an eighth of an inch left. I used my Schick injector, or my injector blades, dabbed it in there, measured it on. So not much is left. But let me kind of recap. I did roughly 24 shaves. I did my best to keep track. Um, if I went back for more soap for a head shave, if I didn't have enough on the brush, I counted that as a second shave because it was enough to do more. So give or take 24 shaves, might be a couple more, might be a couple less. But started off at 7 ounces of, so of uh, full container. It wasn't a full container, I mean with the container. So 7 ounces with the lid and the container, not a full new thing of soap, just a reminder. And I started at 7 ounces total. Finished at three, so an even or at four, an even three ounces. And for those who do grams, it was at 198 grams down to 113. So the math roughly per shave is I did about 0.125 ounces per shave, or 3.54 grams per shave. Some might think that's crazy and a lot. I am a heavy loader, but you got to remember I'm using brushes that are 28 millimeters versus. Kind of give you an idea. I have my little 22 here. So the amount of product being loaded between those two or something like this, even going into say some of my 24s, when I use, you know, these bigger knots like that, they're gonna take in a lot more soap as well. So I'm definitely going through a lot. Uh, but I also, like I said, I load heavy. My hard water kind of dictates that a little bit. Sorry if I'm drooping. Um, I'm in my walking boot and barefoot in the other foot. So uh, that, that's right. The uh, foot is healing just fine um, in a walking cast now. So that's a huge plus. But let me go through what I quickly learned. Um, there's a few little things. Sorry if I look down at my notes. But um, I'm definitely more of an aftershave guy than I am a soap guy. I have tons of soap, as you guys know. But as I kind of thought of before, this last year taught me that the aftershave, as you can see behind me, that collection was much uh, a much bigger collection for me and being able to change those aftershaves every day was huge to me. I couldn't imagine flipping it and doing a variety of soap and only one aftershave because I like that daily different smells as I walk around. I think that's more important to me. It's what I kind of determined this month. Maybe some month I'll flip it and do the opposite and just do one aftershave. We'll see. Um, it did allow me to dial in my soap better with different types of brushes. I used the Samoog 2000 quite a lot. Uh, this month, um, especially after uh, Luke got in his accident, because I know this is one of Darren's uh, favorite brushes. So I used that a lot, kind of dialed it in with that soap, different varieties of synthetics, badgers. Um, I think I only used my horsehair brush once during the month, but just all a variety, I kind of was able to dial it in a little bit, some of the trickier brushes, get that figured out. Um, another thing I noticed, the scent shape changing per shave. Most of us don't do the same soap every day. So what I noticed, since this is mainly um, lime and patchouli, that I remember the first shave, the lime really stood out. The next shave, it was the patchouli that came out more. Um, other days, I didn't really pick up the scent. Like, it wasn't something that I really noticed as I shaved. Other, you know, and it, and it seemed to morph as I went. And I don't know if it's partially going through the tub, hitting different spots, or what, but just given per day, things changed a little bit, and my experience changed with it. And it's not uncommon, your nose... Depending on the environment, if there's a lot of dust in the air, you know, from outside with uh, the windy desert times, that can change your nose, your other senses, what you smelt, what you ate, what you just did. So definitely something I picked up on. Um, soap Commander is awesome. Stuff is killer soap. I guarantee most people won't go through it nearly as quick as I did. Uh, I did have uh, minor struggles throughout the month. Um, I received a couple of very generous gifts um, from some friends, some Katie's Bubbles, and a couple other soaps that uh, came in during the month. It was very, very hard not to use them. I sniffed them quite a lot, 
But that was when my struggles happened. I didn't really have actually nearly the struggles I thought throughout the month of sticking to one soap. It actually was pretty easy. And then sometimes, this kind of goes on another point, it actually made the morning easy and, and, and nice. Because some days I do, I look around and go, what am I going to use today? And because I had that locked in, it was pick up my razor. If I was using a head shave that day too, pick out a razor that works with both. Grab a brush, whatever I'm in the mood for. Quick grab an aftershave, boom, snap a shot, go on my shave. So took out some of the, uh, not that it's a daily thing where I struggle, but some days when you do, you're like, man, what do I do? What should I pick? It took away some of that little bit. Um, let's see, definitely I think something everybody should try um, at least once. Um, give it a shot. See what you can do. You don't have to do a full month, but try two weeks. Try a week. See what that feels like doing the same product for that period of time. It's kind of experiment. Um, and maybe you get a week into it and you say, let me try another week and just keep going just to see where you do. Um, I'm actually going to, and this kind of wraps up the video. I'm actually going to continue with soap commander respect. I do have to take a small break my, from a friend of mine sent me this to try real quick or got a little pass around kind of thing. Got to try the Oliva real quick so I can pass that along. I'm going to use that tomorrow, maybe one more day in a row, um, maybe two days tops. But as soon as I do, I'm going right back to this because I want to see the bottom of that tin and I want to keep track of how many more shaves it takes for me to to uh, finish it off. So that's kind of what I got guys. It actually went a lot longer than I planned but just a lot to think about and like I said I definitely recommend trying it. Thanks for those who uh, decide to stick it out and actually do it with me. Um, whether it was this variety or if you did the full shave setup the entire month or if it was an aftershave or just a razor per month. Whatever you did, very very awesome. I'm glad you guys did it. Hope, uh, put down below um, how your experience went. And remember, once again, uh, pray for Luke Seibert and his family as he recovers from the accident, as the uh, family goes through all that's going through. And uh, God bless everyone, and we'll see you next time.